Hey everybody, final thoughts time for SOS Titanic. Okay, wow! Seriously, wow. Um, you know, I've been excited about this game for quite a while, pretty much ever since I heard about the, the book. Um, you know, this neat little flip book thing that actually represents the Titanic slowly going down and, and all of that, you know, the lights going out and all the way till it's practically completely gone. And I just thought it was going to be a really neat game just because of this. And you know, it turns out this book is completely a gimmick because it's not even remotely necessary. Every time you have a failure state, you could just have a single long, you know, fold out board and you could put some little chits down representing the, you know, the, the progress of the, of the sinking of the ship. But honestly, I think this book adds so much to the overall experience, you know, because you're actually seeing the ship go down, seeing the flares go off. Although interestingly, um, you know, none of the real horror is shown because you don't ever at any point see See any people? Oh no, actually that's not true. You do see a couple of lifeboats, um, but you know this is certainly not James uh, Cameron's Titanic by any uh, shape of the imagination. Although actually, no, looking at it more closely, yeah, you do see people starting to um, congregate near the end, near the end. Wow! So actually, that is there. But uh, you know, so like I said, I originally was interested just because of the book and because it was a co-op game, and I really like you know the, the theme of actually working together to try to save as many people as possible. That's very very cool. Um, I had no idea that the game was actually just taking the core mechanisms of Klondike and just, you know, putting in some like kind of Euro flair with like, you know, special character abilities and special cards and stuff like that. And, you know, the, the additional, the addition of over time your board starting to sink and, you know, um, lines collapsing on each other and all of those really interesting elements. And I gotta say, I'm in love with this game. This game is absolutely fantastic. Uh, you know, I love, you know, I, full disclosure, um, you know, I'm a child of the 70s. I have probably played more Klondike with real physical cards than I have on a PC. Uh, you know, because growing up I played it a lot. My dad actually taught me how to play Klondike and he played it obsessively his whole life. And I mean, I, so I, I, I will admit to maybe a certain bit of emotional attachment to the subject matter because of that, because, you know, playing this game reminds me of my dad. Um, and, you know, him playing Klondike all the time and him teaching me how to play it. So, you know, I have, a, I have a strong, you know, emotional, nostalgic connection because of that. But even putting that aside, if, if I can, this game is just really, really solid. I mean, if you saw through the, um, that run through, the thematic tug of trying to save the little girl um, as opposed to, you know, saving the, you know, the rich woman, but, you know, and choosing that over the little girl because that will actually lead potentially, although you can't be certain, to more lives saved. It's just, it's incredible how well the theme of you know trying to make these tough tough decisions of who gets on the boats the very limited boats how that well that meshes with such a core simple you know gameplay mechanism that I've known my whole life I'm just absolutely in awe of it kind of reminds me of Augustus which came out earlier or no, I guess late last year, and it actually won the um, or was nominated for the Spiel des Jahres, and it was basically just taking the idea of bingo and you know it, it upgrading it with like lots of new cool modern game design mechanisms and and elements. And this is the same thing, but just taking Klondike and doing the same thing, but wow. I mean, I had no real emotional attachment or love of Bingo. I have a great love of Klondike, as I think most people do. Probably everybody's played it at one point or another. And this just takes it and makes it really amazing, really fantastic. If you're just dismissed this out of, ah, this is just Klondike, why even get it? I've already got a deck of 52 cards. I'm sorry, you're missing out on a lot because there's so much variety from all these different characters you can play with their different abilities. And, um, and then the other thing, actually being able to share this with somebody else. I've played this solitaire and two player. It's the only ways I've played it so far. It's a fantastic solitaire game. I absolutely love it. I mean, you know, and I love it in the way I love Klondike, you know, that whole flip, 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 flip. Okay, what do I got? Flip, 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 flip. You know, it's very, um, very solid, very mechanically um, sound and fun just to try and blow through that deck as fast as you can. Although suddenly in this game, uh, it's, a, it's dangerous to blow through the deck. You want to slow down. You have those additional choices. But then on top of that, I mean, Jen and I, we've played it together two player and we thought it was actually a very, very cool game. The, there are four, I think there's four additional characters who really benefit from being in a, uh, with more than two players. I played one of them, the guy who could actually use other people's. But there's like another one who every time he fails, he doesn't gain um, an action card, but he gains one when everybody else fails. So he has the potential to gain a lot more cards based on everybody else failing. Uh, the captain, who is only in a three or more player game, could actually move action cards around people. So there's these elements of timing and you know strategy of, okay, what am I better? My special ability means I should really be the one who tries to do this, but it's my turn, what am I gonna do? Well, okay, you could stall with this, and there's a lot going 
going on, I think it actually works very, very well with more players and gives a lot to think about, a lot to talk about, and um, you know, a lot to strategize for. It's pretty much everything you could hope for. And then on top of that, it's got this very, very cool gimmick of the book. Um, the cards, they're really, really nicely done. They're great to shuffle. It's a very, very tiny thing. This is obviously really, really nice and portable. Just overall, fantastic. I thought I was going to like this game. I did not expect this to be probably one of my favorite games of the year. I mean, this game just really blew me away. I mean, I, when I got out for the first time, I was just playing at Solitaire, and you know, Jen was just off on the couch watching me reading, I don't know, Pinterest or something like that. And she said, what's you doing over there? And I said, this game is so addictive. I mean, I just played and played and played. It's just, it just so much fun. And then on top of that, it's a really great shared cooperative experience too. Absolutely fantastic. That is SOS Titanic. So if you're curious about it and you're in the States, I do have a link for the Kickstarter campaign for that import thing. It's um, you know in the show notes below, so you can go check that out. If you're in Europe, you can I believe you can get it right now. I think it's well worth checking out. I, I, I would not be surprised if this makes it into my top 10 of the year. Um, it's a simple little game, you know, what Klondike is, but this does so much and is so clever, um, you know, and creates such a cool evergreen experience. I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's a winner. Bruto Cathala and Ludovic Malblanc, well done, sirs. My hat's off to you. Also to the artist, Sandra Fesca. I mean, the art's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the box is really nice. I mean, I love the fact that these are tickets. Um, you know, all the people were saving. And even the insert of the box is a little bit classier and nicer than normal because it's got this kind of like oldie style thing. Just everything about it. Fantastic. SOS Titanic. Love it. Seek it out. Okay, folks, that's it. Uh, sorry for making mistakes. That'd be really embarrassing to make mistakes on this. Oh, heck, I caught myself making one, I think. But anyway, that's it. Talk to you later. Have a good day. Uh, bye bye.